Hey guys, this is Blake with ZWaveOutlet.com. Today I'm going to be answering a common question that we get, and that's what's the difference between an Aeon Labs Z-Wave range extender and your other Z-Wave appliance modules that also claim to extend the range? And the answer is nothing. Anything that's AC power that you know plugs into the wall allows you to extend the range of your Z-Wave network. It does this automatically. Now on the other hand, when you're looking at a door lock that's battery powered, this device does not extend the range of your Z-Wave network. So to, to create a solid Z-Wave network, you want to make sure that you have enough devices that are AC powered that can mesh together in order to extend out to the outlaying areas of your, of your home, typically where a, a door lock will be found. The second question is, when you add this device to your Z-Wave network, it comes up as a binary switch or an on-off switch. Turning it on and off, does that affect the, 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 extend, or the range extender inside of this device? And the answer is no. Again, if we're taking a look at a, an appliance module, uh, when you turn this on and off, all it does is control the light. Well, this is a binary chip uh, command class that's built into this device. Same thing as this. So when you're turning it on and off, it's not doing anything. It's just sitting on your Z-Wave network, extending the range, you know, just like this. So now that you guys know that all these devices do the same exact thing when it comes to extending the range of your Z-Wave network, now you just have to decide what type of application is best for you. Is it a plug-in module or is it a wired-in solution? If someone comes to me and says, hey, I've got a property that I manage and I depend on the range extender for my door lock, well, I'm gonna recommend a wired solution. It's not a big deal, uh, you know, just to plug one of these in at your own house. I would say, hey, let's just do a, a plug-in solution, especially if you don't wanna get into the wiring or hire an electrician. Uh, if you guys like what you see with this video, please subscribe. If you guys have any other questions that you want to learn about Z-Wave, please shoot us an email or leave us a comment and we'd be happy to do another video. Thank you for watching.